Western wine to the famous Rutherglen Muscat is the Tokay. And that's made from the Muscadel grape right here. And we've caught Morris's on the right day. They're just harvesting. So let's have a look. Here, how old is this cask? Well, that cask there is over 100 year old. You can faintly see on it P.O. Sutherland Maker Barna Warfer. Well, that uh, Cooper went broke over 100 years ago. But so that's over 100 years old. Over 100 old. years old, that's right. And uh, that's a great cask, good thick wood on it and everything else like and that. And still you usable. Oh, very much so. That's ideal for um, fortified uh, right. storage and that. Yeah, as you can see, that's got a toke in it and right. uh, been there for a fair while, aging away gracefully. Okay, so that's a 100-year-old cask. What's the oldest wine you've got, the actual wine sitting in the cask? Uh, we have actually got some wines that, are, that go back um, pre-Phylloxera as well, which is the turn of the 19th century, so that'll be a bit over 100 years age. Can we uh, try that? Uh, yeah, right. then I'll give you, not, give you a little look at it. Not here for a haircut. Mark, this is the old wine. Hang on to that. Oh. And, uh, it's exciting. Yes, it's very heavy, so I'll have to pipette it up because it just won't run into the valence. Now, with the viscosity, it's hard going. Oh, look at this stuff. And so, what is this? Uh, this is wine that's um, more than 100 year old. This is. Uh, it's like syrup. Fantastic. Very much so. You, you can see the colour in there, just that uh, golden syrup, uh, very uh, khaki colours to the uh, to the age of the wine. Yeah, that's all I'll share with you. Oh, that's, yeah. um, you know what, that's more than enough, <laughs> I reckon. Look at this. Uh, ha have, have a look at that. Absolutely magnificent. Look at this. A hundred year old musket. Yeah, there's not many of them around. Yeah. Oh, that's magnificent. Yeah, the colour of it. See how it hangs to the glass. <sighs> that's extraordinary. It's so thick, so viscose, so complex, it's unbelievable. And what do you say? It's just absolutely magnificent. Well, it's a very interesting wine by itself, but you can imagine what it can do to a blend for us. And uh, so we don't use that as an individual no. wine, but as a blending component, the richness, the concentration, how it can uh, impact on a final blend, it's, uh, it's incredible. So you get a little bit of young wine in, in amongst this, you know, lift it up a little bit and just using that. That's right, even though that has got a very good clean fruit character to it, but um, younger musket will actually impart a little bit more of that rose petal floral. Right. Yeah. Liquid gold, Australian history in a glass. Absolutely fantastic. Young or old, the producers of Australia's fortified wines view themselves as custodians of a piece of Australian history. We should be so thankful to them. That it's not trendy right now to drink these wines is a crying shame. Complex, nutty tawnies and rich, magnificent muscats are true Australian treasures. And don't just think sweet, think savoury too. So you need to sit up and pay attention to Australia's liquid gold. <laughs>